Good morning, Springfielders. Hope everyone is fine and enjoying your online classes. In previous class, we have discussed about maps, types of maps, symbols, and uses of maps. Today, we will learn about measuring height on land. All heights on the land are calculated from the sea level. Looking at this picture, can anybody tell the height of the mountain? No, we cannot. We have to find the height of this mountain. How will you find? For this purpose, contour lines are used. These lines join places with equal heights on map. Contour lines are shown in irregular shapes depending upon the landforms. These lines cannot cut with each other. The distance between the two contour lines will depend upon the landscape. If the land has steep climb, then the contour lines will be near each other. If the slope of the land is gentle, then the contour lines will be quite far from each other. Now, Uses of maps showing heights. These maps are helpful in construction of roads and dams to lay roads in undulating region, deciding the route to be taken by the road and land submerged by water of the dam. To calculate all these heights, we have to find out mean sea level. There are high and low tides on the level of the sea and they never stand still. As a result of this phenomena, the level of the sea keeps on either rising or falling. The level of the sea is carefully measured at the frequent intervals and the mean sea level is calculated. Over a period, scientists observe the high and the low levels of the sea and they have come to one calculated average level which is known as mean sea level. Now today's homework is what are contour lines? What are the uses of map showing heights? What is mean sea level? Please write these answers in your notebook and learn them. I hope today's class is clear. Thank you.